The year end and a lot of governors from different states are presenting their 2024 yearly budget. And today, the governor of Anambra State, Governor Chukuma Soludo, presented his budget to the Anambra State House of Assembly. The video, the entire video is what I'll be bringing to you here. So I will plead with you to take your time, watch completely for those of you who are always criticizing the SS figure you hear on the media no now this is the from this budget you'll be able to know how this money are being spent and what they are meant for here's the video please drop a comment Of 
the kingdom. Sit in that way. Progressive means security. Security. Or what are something about things? Have you some substantial on the day? So that today, there are reasonable things as a means of life for the day. Thank you. 
the Lord of Rebellion will enter the element of the two thousand to assist in funding talent. But ours here in Anambra is a government on the foundation of the All Progressive Grand Alliance Africa. We are progressive and the welfare of the Africa in Nigeria, especially the poor and vulnerable, remain our primary purpose. Our motto is be your brothers and sisters given. For us, there is no better time to rise up to the full essence of our motto and ideological stance on behalf of the ordinary people and now. Consequently, even before the removal of something, we had earlier increased the salary of public servants by 10%, effective from January 2023. And this translates to over 2 billion in 2023, excluding local governments and teachers. We also granted all public servants and pensioners about 59,000 persons a non taxable cash award of 12,000 naira a month, spanning September to December 2023. This amounts to about 2.83 billion. Beginning from today, this morning, as I speak here, about 200,000 bags of 10 kg bags of rice will be distributed to vulnerable persons across the 326 world in Lanapra. This cost slightly over 2 billion. The 200,000 10 kg bags of rice distributed at last. Inclusive of about 18,000 or so 50 kg bags and some others that will also be added on the list of this group of who are people who must ameliorate the suffering of the organized world. We have, of course, of an assumption of office, we met four year gratuity arrears for state and local government retirees. We have been systematically clearing the arrears. While everyone who has retired since our adoption of office has been assured of prompt payment of gratuity. Pensions and salaries are paid as that when you. We have, a, a, uh, we have also exempted the highly vulnerable persons from all forms of taxation and labor, including the hawkers in the streets, wheelbarrows, prompt pushers, organizers, artisans, or gather riders. And many traders will boost capital amount to be less than a hundred thousand. All these people are exempt from any levies or taxes in Anambra. And anyone who is still collecting or harassing these people is actually uh how do we put it? It's not just fighting uh the government, uh, it's policy, but it's fighting nature because these people it's not just a break, it is the right of the law. Furthermore, we reduced by 20% Nigerian payments by all transports, KK, Minibus, etc. Our free education policy and free medical services program were also announced during this year. As committed progressives, we are determined to let the poor not only bridge, as I said a moment ago, not just to bridge. But for them to be empowered to rise up and to run. This is the essence of our mission. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Member, Honorable Member, after 20 months of systematic programs, to so take back our state from non state actors and addressing key aspects of foundational talent, it is now time to change here. I am here, therefore, to present the draft 2024 budget. With this budget, we are making an announcement that that number is changing here and that the promised transformation agenda will now begin. The transformation agenda is one that intentionally executes a new master plan of the state designed to turn that number into a livable and prosperous we are determined to change the Anambra's narrative from its current status as a departure map to a destination of choice. The preferred destination to leave 
what the first land of reliance and victory. Evidently, Nigeria's macroeconomic environment remains challenging due largely to the missteps of the past. Some national governments are obviously constrained by the larger macroeconomic environment. I think a moment ago, the Honorable Speaker did make reference to the MDEF. Million them expended of one uh, that was presented here. Of course, much of the framework, uh, if you like, the basic underlying uh, statistics for that, will just also derive from the federal uh, statistics to think in terms of you know, projection for revenue, uh, oil, and all of that. Thus, we got to uh, derive from the where some national. However, we are determined to maximize the limited, the limited headroom available to create value from their number. Consequently, and in spite of the wondrous need, we are presenting today a modest budget of 410 billion, 132 billion, 225,279. For the fiscal year 2024, compared to 258,984,874,905 naira for 2023, a 57.8% increase. Recurrent expenditure amounts to about 96.2 billion, thus accounting for about 23.46%. Why capital expenditure is 313.9 billion or 76.54 billion? Budget deficit is estimated at 120 billion. And relative to 2023, some key sectors have significant increases. For example, the administrative sector is an increase of about 50.85%, the economic sector about 103.43%, judiciary about 72.9%. Social sector about 60.24, education, working 414 percent, 140.88 percent increase, health about 169.55 percent increase, infrastructure investment about 119.84 percent increase, overhead cost report, etc. Legislation obviously is also a key priority, especially as we sign post in this draft project. The establishment of the Legislative Service Committee. Why consolidating and expanding the ongoing programs and projects? Honorable members, the emphasis on the sectors as indicated above signals new business. Three new cities are part of the new master plan for Alhambra Oka 2.0, Odisha 2.0, and a new industrial city with export in borrow and potential for a possible future effort. An industrial master plan is being finalized, Why the railway master plan and feasibility study is also being completed. The $200 million research, I mean, uh, 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 project development advisory and financing agreement recently signed uh, with the African, African Bank is part of this new agenda. We will continue to address that the ease of doing this. With the completion of the fund city, the migrate of infrastructure development, as well as the coming of a branded international hotel in Oka, both Oka 1.0 and Oka 2.2 will match to give our number a truly fertility capital city. Other regenerator will be aggressively pursued. The environment remains, as I said before, our number one existential threat. And under the 2024 budget, we will intentionally accelerate our agenda on clean, green, planned, and sustainable land and ground. Smart, green city is our goal. Our infrastructure development will deliberately target the provision of transportation system that will solve the net generations by targeting the dualization of key highways and modernizing our mass transport system. 
a new electricity market will be created and our security operations will be upgraded with high technology applications, even with barely 4% of the budget for security. The 2024 budget signals a significant investment in urban and semi urban water schemes, and we expect in their numbers to see parks running again in 2024. Yes. In the 2024, our students and teachers will smile as ever before. Yes, our youths and our number of students in tertiary institutions will smile even more. The poor and the vulnerable persons have their backs covered. Around 1,000 households or more will receive 10 or more siblings of coconut farm, uh, coconut farm, cocoa, cocoa, soy sauce etc. per household in the 2024. We are mainstreaming the sports economy and the state football team will be in 2024. Several creative sectors other than tech will also be forward. Yes, we will deepen our structural reforms regarding the delivery mechanism that emphasizes public, private, community partnerships, especially in service delivery to the grassroots including our new zero portal program. Mr. Speaker, honorable members, I don't want to bore you with all the deliverables in the point. The full document is already in the point. Now, suffice it to note that the size of the budget is indeed very small in real terms that is the purchasing power of the Naira today, or even the US dollar, when compared to some years ago for this case. When you put it in context, uh, which I've been spending a lot, compared to a few months ago, now it's been by thousands of percent, uh, so to speak. Uh, prices of critical inputs, especially for its construction delivery, mm -hmm. But in spite of this, we are determined to maximize value for the Anapra as we are currently doing. Recall that the Seventh Assembly approved in 2022 for us to borrow 100 million naira for infrastructure. We didn't do so in 2022. For the ongoing 2023 budget, it was assumed that we will borrow 90 billion to fund the budget. Up until now, we still have not borrowed a cover of that. And we won't borrow until the end of the year. We won't borrow until the year. So for the 20 months, in spite of the approval by this house for us to borrow, we still literally have refused to do so. In the proposed 2024 budget, there is a deficit of 120 billion expected to be funded through a facility from financial institutional institutions. And the rest are sure, honorable member, that we would borrow unless it satisfies two stringent criteria we have set. A, any borrowing we have that day must be a procedural loan. And B, it must be deployed to projects that we can show how they will pay back the loan we are prioritizing project finance. If we ever have to borrow, and not to borrow for some. Even with an estimated 66% budget performance for 2023, we insist on not borrowing unless it satisfies our state criteria. Our internally generated revenue idea remains a fundamental challenge, honorable members. In the 2023 budget, we expected a monthly revenue of about 4 billion. So far, we are averaging 2 billion, and we are still projecting 4.2 about 4.2 billion per month in 2024. This is a wake up call to all residents of Anambra and all of the Anambra, wherever they may be. We can build the ambition, livable, and prosperous homeland with our alive. With the abundant resources that God has blessed the Tianan Bravo, there is literally nothing 
that we collectively set our minds that we cannot achieve for our government. We have a plan and the organization to accept what we need to resolve. If each of us pays just 5 to 10 percent of our annual income and tax to the state, I can assure you the unemployed state of our brain will be fast track in the shortest possible time. Many people keep asking how we manage to fund the huge infrastructure projects and other programs and projects without borrowing over the past 20 months, given the state of treasury when we are thrown down. The answer is simple. Our mantra is doing more with less. It has involved extreme austerity and cutting costs of governance to bear for As can be seen from the proposed 2020, 2024 budget, recurring expenditure is only 23%. Why capital expenditure is 77%. This makes a bold step. Yes, we have been in office for 20 months, but we have not taken any salary. And we have not provided by a of first change of that Before we have zoomed office, it cost about 137 million naira to clean public offices per month. But it currently costs 11 million per month. To do the same job. We have monthly saving of 126 million. This is how we do it here. I want to especially appreciate members of the solution team, the honorable members, members of the judiciary, and all stakeholders for their sacrifice in the service of our government. You are the generation of public servants largely paid to serve. We will never take your sacrifice for granted. We appreciate all the stakeholders in the Anambra project, our community leaders, traditional rulers, church leaders, the private sector, the international community, the public servants, the federal government, the media, the NGO, the youth, women, students, etc. for their support. Your continued partnership and support will be critical in the delivery of the 2024 project. I want to assure the number that every power you entrust in our hands will be judiciously deployed to maximize value for you. You have employed Dr. Nega to be the team and I to start with. And together with the solution team, we will continue to work 24 by 7 to do just that. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Members, one of the number. Let me end by reiterating that this budget is your budget. The agenda is your about your future and the future of your budget. For me, we are not just working for the next for the present and next generation. We are planning for many generations of work. The 2024 budget speaks to that. Say I will and bring power to come to your head. Today and in 2024, let us all agree that it will be done. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Member, ladies and gentlemen, the journey has only just begun. The God bless our number of The God bless the federal public of Nigeria. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Governor. Now to the rule of the house, we don't cry. So we appreciate your speech. Mr.
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I remain honorable, sir, of all the American members representing the good people of the civil process. Mr. Speaker, I rise the movement of the first reading of the 2024 draft is the greatest bill 2023. The honorable state of profession of 2024 is a bill for a law to provide for the sum of for the services of the government of Anambra State of Nigeria on the December 20. Now I'm changing gears. Maybe the acceleration 
we had that year was at year one and year two. So we are not, we are not on speed gear yet. But this year, this the next single year, we are speeding up from what we can And the Mr. Speaker, if we scan through this uh, draft history, you will see the intention of Mr. Governor. It is clear to all. Because when he was reading out his uh, speech, he was telling us the percentage of increase, especially in the capital estimates. Mr. Speaker, it may interest you to know that a quick scan of this document will show you the areas of special interest by Mr. Gordon, one of which improvement to have a sharp increase from 6 billion to about 16 billion. Mr. Speaker, if you look at enhancing skills and knowledge, another sharp increase from 7 billion to about 18 billion. Mr. Speaker, let's look at water resources. From less than 1 billion, from less than 1 billion, I mean, the, okay, from less than 2 billion to almost 10 billion. Mr. Speaker, uh, just looking at this will tell us where we are driving. As it is, education, care, skill acquisition, urban regeneration, these are the areas Mr. Governor is telling. And it is easy for us to assist in our own way, to help the ways we can, to make sure that these knowledgeable ideas of Mr. Governor are achieved. But Mr. Governor, uh, like I said, scanning through again, do you know, I am always in the sensitivity. I look at the draft instrument for the women and the vulnerable ones. I notice a marginal decrease. Marginal decrease uh, from 2.5 billion to 2.4. Mr. Governor, what will I tell my mother when I get <laughs> And if you look at uh, youth empowerment, I know that um, enhancing skills and knowledge will also capture part of Budget for the youth. <laughs> uh, but this place, the youth development, another marginal difference from 5.6 to 5.5. Uh, Mr. Governor, I'm looking at the other <laughs> Okay, let's not do that because we still have uh, days to sit with the relevant MPAs to panel with this document without having any intention of altering it or altering the intention of Mr. Roy. But we will look into it, cross-pollinate ideas, and uh, arrive at something. We, we already have something that is very good for our people. Something that is super for our people. Mr. Governor, for you to increase this budget from 198 to over 400 people is something. Yes, you said that uh, the purchasing power of our money it is true. But we look at the revenue. When the suggesting power is reduced, the revenue is stagnant or stagnant. Uh, so I don't know the magic. But like you said, we keep looking at it because we can have magic before that. So, Mr. Governor, you made mention of the IGR to not present the expectations of this government. Uh, it will interest you to know that with the partnership you have with this project of our country, and if our speaker graciously appointed a special committee headed by my friend here of the Bono School of Civil, apart from the standing committee of the house, to look into ways to improve the energy system. And Mr. Governor, I can assure you that at the end of 